Okay, so today is day 14, two weeks since surgery. I'm enjoying breakfast right now, and I just took the last of my Meloxicam. There's only a 14-day supply once a day. Um, yeah, most of my medications I just took in the mornings. I had Meloxicam, aspirin, uh, something to prevent aspirin from affecting your stomach, and Tylenol. And that's all I've been taking since surgery. And I was taking five Tylenol a day, but I've slowly weaned myself off to one day. Today, I'm gonna try to cut off everything because I have some laxicam. I don't think I need the aspirin that's for blood clots. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna try to be medication free. Here's the fam jam. So I'm sitting at the table. Usually when I sit at the table, you know, I just have a second chair, pop my knee up. I have my crutches there on standby. Um, but yeah, I've been getting around. So I just kind of want to show you guys how it's been. Being a very active person, it's hard not to get depressed sometimes. So, you know, I've been trying to get my mind engaged, making all these videos um, and just trying to be productive. You know, sure, watching a little bit of TV here and there, but here's a hobby I haven't done in a while, which is my pellet rifle. So I brought, brought, broke that out and that's been fun. I'm um, doing some other stuff as well. Uh, this is a quick tip on using your ice machine. So instead of buying ice all the time, I learned this trick on YouTube actually, uh, just use frozen water bottles. So actually what, what worked out perfectly was using four bottles. So just freezing, so having like eight bottles in rotation. So as soon as um, you know the, the first four defrost, uh, you put in four new frozen bottles and then you don't have to you know add or lower the water level too because it's not melted ice everything was retained in the bottles so that works a lot better too because um you know a lot of times you have to take out a lot of water to dump in new ice but with this method it's a lot easier um you know sometimes you have to top it off a little bit because just water drips off when you take it out but um yeah five is a little too much uh we found so just doing four is enough the water gets more than cold enough and uh yeah um, I actually kind of like it better because it doesn't get as cold as the normal ice does and because sometimes it just gets too cold. So just using uh, four frozen bottles seems to work really well. And if you cover the whole thing uh, in an insulating, you know, just towel, then it seems to last through the night. And again, you know, I tie this, I'm showing a, a video of uh, how I use my app um, for my smart outlet. Um, you know, to just turn on and off this ice maker throughout the night I have it on my leg. And there's also this timer mode where I can just, you know, put it on for an, uh, like turn on 15 minutes, turn off for five minutes, turn on 15 minutes, turn off for five minutes. So I can set those timers and control it all from my smartphone through that app. Um, so I definitely recommend a smart outlet. And, uh, and yeah, so just covering that with a towel makes it last uh, so much longer, just giving that insulation. So definitely recommend doing that to make it last longer. Uh, here I show you what I've been doing to uh, ice my leg because I don't like the, the pad directly on my skin. I just use a t-shirt and put my leg through the head of the t-shirt and then just cover my knee in it. And then I just use the, um, the knee, knee wrap with the ice machine and just band that along my leg. And that seems to be working pretty well. Um, but yeah, now having the ACE bandage off, it's definitely less insulation. So I don't have it for 40 minutes at a time. Usually I'm just having it on it for like 15 minutes at a time. Um, Cause otherwise my leg just gets too cold. And they say, you know, like 15, 20 minutes is enough. Um, Cause you don't want to make your leg too cold because then the blood flow gets restricted and it's not actually helping. So I'll have it propped up on this leg pillow. You can also just use three pillows, but this is what I've been doing and either going to sleep like that or actually just working on my, on my laptop or um, things like that. So I'll just have my leg propped up and I'll just be working. And I'm usually in bed most of the day, at, le at least in those first couple, uh, first couple days. I'd say after day 10, I started feeling a lot better. So I just got the bill back from the doctor's office. So, day 12 surgery. This is how I'm driving now. Just like this, leg elevated. I don't think it's a real safety concern. Probably more of a safety concern than I'm talking while driving. So now that traffic stopped, I'm gonna end it. 
So this is me at physical therapy. They have the TENS machine going, electrically firing my quads, and it's pretty hard to fire still. Um, but yeah, I've been going to physical therapy at least three days a week. And I've been going to acupuncture too, once or twice a week. I feel like the acupuncture is really helping with the swelling. I did at the tail end of my recovery last time, and I felt like it was really helpful, but you know, I was kind of already kind of not swollen so much. Um, I've also been doing other things like using a muscle roller, um, and yeah, so just trying, trying different methods to really work at this knee and get it better. Of course, I'm doing the home exercises three days, three times a day, sometimes only two times a day if I can't squeeze in the third, but at least two times a day I'm doing it. Here I'm using another massager on my leg um, to try to just, you know, get everything loose. Okay. I just kind of want to show you how I've been moving, so I'm still not, you know, I'm still kind of holding my leg, but definitely a lot less, uh, I'm still only putting 20% weight because of that meniscus stitching surgery. You know, I didn't shave my meniscus this time, so I can't immediately load there. They're trying to save it, which is good for the long term, but bad for the short term because they're also restricting my, my bending to 90 degrees. So, boy. So I got Dalen as my filmographer for today. Toe touching, toe touch weight there. I don't know, a lot of times I'm just on one foot. Okay, and then this is how I get on the floor. And I can get up on the floor too. Alright, so this is how I get up. Okay, so pretty mobile, no pain really there. Not using my um, not using my brace so much. I'm still doing my daily exercises. Um, yeah, which is that quad flex. Still a lot of swelling going on. It is getting better every day. I've actually been doing acupuncture. I already did two sessions. I think like seven days after surgery, and then like once a week or twice a week since then. I'm going right after this. So I'm still trying to flex my quad. Swelling has gone down, but. The two. No, it's like night and day still. Oh, it's getting a lot better. It's getting a lot better. So I'm starting to get a lot more flexion or what do they call it? Extension? I think flexion. And I think I'm at like 82 degrees now, getting pretty close to 90. I'm not supposed to go past 90, so once I reach 90, I'm supposed to kind of stop my progress there. But yeah, every day it's getting better just slowly. been my most comfortable uh, position 
Um, at least it changes it up, you know, you're not putting all that weight on your butt the whole time, and you can sleep like that. And I even do the other side of my dad's right there. Yeah, even the physical therapist uh, said, you know, keep that brace on at night. You don't know what you're going to do when you're sleeping. You might hurt yourself and you don't want to reset everything. And I understand that, but I think this is exactly what happened the first surgery too. It just got so annoying and so, I don't know, restrictive. And I felt like it was like kind of making me more, um, more swelling. And like as soon as I take it off, I felt like the swelling went down and I don't know, it worked out last time. So I just kind of started doing it again this time. Um, but yeah, I feel like after day 10, you know, my swelling started going down so much after I stopped putting that brace on. And I don't know, that's also when I started kind of the acupuncture too. So I don't know which one really did it for getting that swelling down, but every day the swelling has been getting better. Um, yeah, anyway, not recommending it, but that's what I've been doing. So just keeping it real with you guys. Here's a side by side of my right knee and my left knee. Um, swelling still there, you know, just 14 days, but getting better every day. And I uh, just wanted to show you a new exercise that I learned in physical therapy uh, that I've been doing at home. Um, I'm using a foam roller, but you can use anything. Uh, I think something harder than a pillow you want though. Um, so it's kind of hard to do it by myself, but uh, I can manage. Basically, you're just kind of lifting your leg, your whole leg, lifting your knee up. Um, and you know, pivoting around that ankle and doing that uh, three sets of 10 is what my physical therapist recommended. So that's one exercise I've been doing. Um, and there's, a, there's another one that I'm gonna show you too. Um, but yeah, it was very tough the first day, but uh, after the first time, you know, it's been getting easier and easier every day. And I feel like I'm, <laughs> my leg was so flabby before. I'm starting to get less flab now. Uh, so this is a, a second, second exercise where you get rid of the foam roller and you just lift the same kind of way. And then this one's still very painful even like three days after trying it. Um, and then, I don't know, it, it's still kind of scary for me, but lifting my leg out like that. Um, I'm supposed to do 30, but I can only really manage 10 still. But yeah, those are the new exercises I've been doing. So on day 15, you know, I knew I had a long day kind of on my legs. So I wanted to try out this neoprene sleeve, which I used a lot um, during last time's surgery. Kind of later on, you know, like three weeks, four weeks in, I started using this and kind of kept using it, especially on long drives where I had my foot down, um, things like that nature. Because um, it just kind of keeps it compressed and keeps it from swelling while you have, you know, it's kind of uh, in a lower position. So I was very careful with the with the bandages and stuff and trying to get it in position. And you know, it didn't hurt at all. And so here I am driving and we were driving to a, a fishing day at my work for the kids. So I really wanted to attend and I'm icing my leg while I'm driving. Um, Look at the fishy. And so my son caught nine fish that fish day. Really. Um, and my other son won first prize for catching the biggest trout. But anyway, uh, you know, after like four or five hours out there, um, I needed pretty good. And I was trying to keep it elevated just on two buckets. Um, I was sitting on a bucket and had one bucket up. Um, so it wasn't, didn't do too badly. Um, but yeah, it didn't seem that swollen afterwards. And I think that sleeve, that neoprene sleeve, and I'll put a link in the show notes of um, where to get on Amazon. But yeah, that should needs to really help. And even after ACL surgery, that first time I used it a lot. And it just felt like that little bit gave so much support, even like when I was doing activities and stuff. So I highly recommend getting the knee sleeve um, just to limit swelling. And also just, um, yeah, I feel like it's so good for sports and things afterwards. It just kind of gives you that little bit of support you need. Picked up this sweet recumbent bicycle. Recumbent basically means you know, like it's not gonna sit on top bicycle, you can lay back, um, less pressure on your knees. But anyway, picked it up for 75 bucks on a Facebook Marketplace. $650 brand new. Pretty happy with it. It's pretty sweet, huh? Even in the chaos. 
And apparently I'm not supposed to really use it because of my meniscus repair until like four weeks after surgery. Um, if it was just an ACL repair, I think I could have used it pretty immediately. But, yeah. So unfortunately, because I'm still on crutches, I gotta wait a little bit. So in an effort to try to get rid of boredom and uh, feel some more freedom, I decided I wanted to get on the paddle board. Um, my wife was fighting me hard on that one. She didn't want to let me go out there. She thought I was going to drown or something silly like that. But um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Got on the paddle board, just had my knee straight, and that was actually really good. And I felt like I could have been out there for hours and enjoyed myself. Uh, so I want to do some more of that in the coming days um, before it gets too cold here in October. But yeah, just nice to be out there, nice to have some freedom and uh, feel like things are back to normal. Um, and uh, have a little bit more control of my mobility. Anyway, that about wraps it up. We hope you guys have been enjoying these videos. And uh, yeah, good luck with your recoveries and your surgeries. And uh, look out for a week three video. Subscribe!